Welcome, family, friends, and faces to Throwback Thursday with Tristan112. Today, we're playing Warcraft 2 Battle.net Edition. This is one of my first ever games that I ever played, and I love it so much. I'm gonna just get right into it and talk some more, but we have to talk. We have to get we get to get this party started. Yeah. The horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on Lordaeron's southern shores. To secure the Zul'dare region as Doomhammer demands, you will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed your troops. Your success may help us determine the extent of the pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer against our forces. Ah yes, back when Warcraft made sense. <laughs> back before we got Warcraft 3, back before we got World of Warcraft, there was Warcraft 2. Now of course there was Warcraft 1, but you know, it, it's alright I guess, but not as great as it could be. <laughs> and it was, you know, it was however revolutionary for its time, and Warcraft 2 was as well, it's just, you know, the Battle.net edition of course uh, makes it even more uh, stellar. As you can hold nine units instead of six, you can control group, right click instead of left click. Ah, it's so good. Yeah. So, this is the basic tutorial mission. Each one, like each faction, which is just orcs and humans at this point, um, has one. And. It's really easy, so I figure I'll probably put like two missions into this. Uh, because, yeah, it's not really that hard. <laughs> ah, yes. I don't know, I just get like this massive wave of nostalgia whenever I play Warcraft 2. Because, it re because like this was one of the games that I played with my dad. It was one of the very first games I played ever. <laughs> now, I mean, you know, I was like... Ten. So seeing this much, like seeing blood and gore and people killing things, was not exactly what my mother wanted. But you know, <laughs> such is <laughs> such is life, eh? Uh, I did not plan that well. That's okay. This is the tutorial mission. So, in case you haven't seen Warcraft Two, um. Or you, uh, the only thing you know about Warcraft is just, like, Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Uh, Warcraft was, is an old game. Like, it's it has a lot of lore, and a lot of retcons, and a lot of changes. And I mean, that's not particularly surprising of a massive franchise that it's become, but still, it's like, this is where you get names like... Uh, like Cadgar, this is where you get Orgrim Doomhammer, this is where you get, um, I don't know, like, Alaria Windrunner, and, uh, Curtain and Skyrie, and Deathwing. Like, these are, these are the big, when the big people, the big names happen. <laughs> in this game, in this series of games, like Gul'dan, Ner'zhul, everybody is in these series of games. Or this in this game specifically. I mean, like, I guess you had like some other people too, but in, in Warcraft One, but uh, Warcraft One like has like Warcraft One is basically the movie. What I because you've got like Garona the half orc, um, and Lothar and doing Lothar uh, before he became like super. Uh, in command of Azeroth and everything. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm spouting a lot of lore. Um, basically, this is a good game. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's not great. I mean, 
there's only like one female character, which is kind of disappointing to me. Um, and like, I don't know, the, the orcs are portrayed as like savage and bloodthirsty, which is kind of like not okay. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it, it you know, it. They explain it in Warcraft 3, yeah, they have the demon possession thing going on. So it it does change over time, and they become more aware, like the developers do. Uh, that doesn't stop them from giving the Night Elves stupid-ass outfits, but whatever, you know, we, can, we can't. <sighs> can't be perfect, but <laughs> that's, that's Warcraft 3. This is Warcraft 2, uh, one of my favorite games. In that it's, it is simple. It's easy to get into. You just have like basic units. The enemy, like whichever faction you play, there's a, the same setup. There isn't any really unique units or any particularly com, like conflicting, um, like strategies. Although, I mean, the human. If you do play humans, you can heal, whereas the orcs you can't really, but the orcs have a thing where you can fight till you die. And you can also be invis invincible. Not invisible. That's humans. But invincible. Briefly. Um, it sucks at times, but, you know, it's it's worth it. Drop it. Uh, yeah. So... Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I had to fill in time because the the tutorial mission is very basic. It's just you start off in a region, build four farms. Four farms, was it? Yes, build four farms and a barracks. Um, the music is really cool. I think you, can, you should be able to hear it. Uh, and since this is the Battle.net uh, edition, it it's not playing like... How do I say this? Basically, it's not like the 8-bit... The stuff that was doing like in the original version um and embed on edition includes like beyond the dark portal the expansion so that's fun and that's where you get like some of the the, the more famous names that get uh carried down like nerzul and Cadgar and laria and tirolon but uh when it comes to uther lothar uh Gul'dan, you know them they come from the base warcraft 2 game <laughs> it's a neat series. Um, I'm not entirely sure I can offer a particularly insightful commentary, but I will do my best. Because I like this game, and I figure, hey, I have some time, and I might as well just start it over. Start it over again, you know? Um, that and, uh, I had to reinstall it on to another computer and I lost all my saves. So... <laughs> so I kinda had to redo it anyway, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, I did find and kill all the humans who were on this map. Um, and so that makes it pretty easy to do. I mean, it's a tutorial mission. It shouldn't be ideally that difficult. Not like... I don't know. I, I don't think they do that in the future, and I don't think people do that anymore, where, like, uh, the tutorial mission is particularly difficult. I can't really think of a game where it is, or if there is one, then I just rage quit and didn't play it again. But, yeah, so, this is Warcraft 2. I used to play it with my dad. Um, this is also one of the games that I've always wanted to, like, play with somebody. Um, and a lot of old Blizzard games, like, I have that. Like, I've always wanted to play, like, StarCraft with somebody. Or, um, like, uh, Warcraft 3. I played Warcraft 3 with, um, a friend of mine. Um, and it's been, I mean, it's fun. Actually, I've played Warcraft 3 with friends a couple times. Uh, but unfortunately, with the Battle.net edition, it's harder like warcraft 2 it's harder because it's super old <laughs> and so like the multiplayer options aren't really uh compatible with uh, modern systems at least not to my knowledge uh so you just have 
<laughs> so you would just basically have like whatever. You just have whatever you have. <laughs> But I did used to play with my dad, like I would watch him play, and I'd be like, wow, that's so cool. And I just loved the music, the differing architecture, um, the different units especially. Like, the Orc Death Knight is my favorite thing. And I know it's it's like an undead human, but I have a particular fondness for the undead, just as a concept. Like, if there's any game that I will play, and there's an undead option, I will jump on it because I love them. I love the concept of the undead. They're just like a big horde of ageless but still powerful entities that don't have to worry about dying. Um, and that appeals to me because like dying is a fear of mine and I think it's a fear of like a lot of humans but it's like as somebody with OCD and mental health and depression and etc. Um, it is particularly, uh, striking. Ta-da! We won! See? Easy. Also, this is back, um, when, like, different colors would be different clans, essentially. So, like, red was black rock, um... Purple was Twilight's Hammer Clan, blue was Storm Reavers, um, etc. And then, like, same with the, like, blue was Nation of Azeroth, teal was Kul'Tuas, white was Lord Ron, you know, purple Kirin Tor. Um, and there was also ranks. Um, I wasn't partic I'm not gonna be particularly great at getting the rank system, but, or, or getting, like, a really high score, because that's, that's not what I focus on when I play games like this, but, you know, it's still fun. Anyway, mission two. Our spies report that a band of human soldiers have captured a war party led by troll commander Zul Jin and have taken them to a secret prison near the township of Hillsbrad. Seeing an opportunity to place these captives in debt to the Horde, Doomhammer sends you to ransom Zul Jin and his trolls and return them to their own encampment nearby. The war chief believes that this raid upon the unsuspecting prison will strike terror into the hearts of those who would dare resist the Horde. Yeah. Oh man, I love rescue missions. So, in this game, and actually other Warcraft games as well, basically you would have missions where... I think Warcraft 2 was also like this, where you would... Um, just... Like, you... Would have to recruit units uh, along the way. Um, and this is one of the ones where you're doing that when you're rescuing, like, the trolls. Uh, and Zul'jin. And... I just love it. I <laughs> love it so much. Because you can recruit all kinds of people. Um, you can recruit people to the colors. Fuck you. Um, and it's just really fun. Fuck you. And I'll explain the thing about the colors thing when I find the trolls. I used to have these maps memorized, but... Yeah, I was that kid. Um, back in the day, back in the day. Oh, here we go. Okay, kids, destroy those walls. Back when they had walls. Huh. And I mean, you couldn't really build walls. I remember in Warcraft 1 you could, but you couldn't do it in this one. See? See, this is what I mean about the colors. Like, Black Rock Clan is the ones that you started off with and you used to have red. Um, but the Troll Clan um, is Blacktooth Grin Clan, which is black. And then Zul'jin 
is teal, which is the bone chewer clan. Um, I mean, in this case, they're all just the same group of trolls, but you know, it's still uh, they don't like. You still have multiple colors in the same army, and I don't know. That's just something I like because it's like, like when you join a force, you're gonna have your own sense of pride. Like, regardless of whichever army you came from. Um, and your own, like, banners and heraldry and etc. Um, I mean, you'll have, like, a unifying banner color, essentially. But you, you won't have, like... Uh, I don't know. It's like how the Navy has their colors and the Army has their colors. The USA and the US Army and Navy. Um, but then, like... They are still part of, like, America and, like, flag, but, like, it's not. <laughs> Basically, it's, like, people aren't wearing, like, the flag into battle unless they're, like, trained militia or some nonsense. Or they think they're trained militia. Um, so it's just, I don't know, it's more realistic to me. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> Anyway, I need to build a farm so I can fuck. So I can fucking buy more. So I can train more troops to make sure nobody dies. Well, this nobody dies too much. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> and in this game, also, like, in Warcraft 3, they really tone down the numbers. As far as, um, like, the, the amount of resources that you would need to gain, or to gather. Like, in Warcraft, it was, like, groups of ten, or it would be, like, tens, fives for night elves, twenty for ghouls. Um, and, like, ten gold pieces per, per, like, round or something. But in this case, it's, like, a hundred units of lumber was just processed in that second when that peon ran back to, to the town hall. Um. It took a while to chop, but it, it's still, like, that kind of thing. Uh, the numbers are bigger in this game. Um, which makes sense, because this is supposed to signify a large-scale war that happened for, I don't know, like, several years at least? Uh, maybe several years? I don't actually know what the timeline is on Warcraft, because, like, when you throw in magic, the events and time, like, that sets up your time like quite a bit <laughs> like if you've got somebody who can m melt the sky with their face or some nonsense then you don't exactly need to like it's not going to take a, a siege isn't going to take like months or years ideally um because you got somebody who can make earthquakes with their mind y you don't have that exactly in this game but you do have like you know death of decay which causes this large uh cloud of just rot and disease um, that dissolves a, a lot of shit. Or, um, if you're playing as humans, you have the blizzard power, which, uh, in this game is just, like, this hail of, uh, ice shards that just rain down on everything, and they hurt. Like, they will, they will kill your unprotected units, uh, pretty quickly. <laughs> so. Fun times... But I'm rambling. Let's get into it. So the goal is we need to get Zuljin and his friends uh, back to his encampment. So I'm scouting out with the grunts since they're, you know, they're grunts. You can probably hear them saying, like, Loktar and Zug Zug. Loktar, yeah, you can, you can hear that. Um, in this game, uh, trolls are, like, they're not Jamaican, like they are in uh, Warcraft 3 and uh, World of Warcraft. I always forget the name of World of Warcraft, because there's so many, like, World of Warcrafts. Because there's, like, Mists of Pandaria. It's the one I can always remember. There's also, like, Cataclysm. Burning Legion, Burning Crusade, like, 
Or no, not Burning Legion, just straight up Legion. Um, that kind of thing. But, so there's a lot of changes that happen, like, between each one, and so I get lost. Um, and I don't play World of Warcraft, so I don't... I don't know exactly how things have changed, but I do know that a lot has changed. Um, based on, like, the cinematics and things that I follow up on, and that I, like, the story synopses that I read on occasion. Um... But in Warcraft 2, like, there isn't a burning legion, there isn't an overarching, like, evil, demonic plot exactly. Like, there's only really two kinds of demons that we know of. Um, and there's, like, the demons in the tomb of Sargeras. Um, and then there's, uh, Kil'jaeden, who was Gul'dan's mentor. Um, and Kil'jaeden being just a straight-up demon lord in this one. Um... And, like, technically Sargeras is, like, here too, but, like, Sargeras, it's much more like the Tomb of Sargeras, but they never, like, you never meet him. I, but, of course, I don't think you meet him in anything, because you can't. Like, as far as I know, like, that's not, that's not something you do. <laughs> you don't just look at the Elder Evil in the face and be like, oh, yeah, that's, that's a thing, we gotta fight it. You don't, you don't do that. Yeah, sorry, I'm rambling. I just really like this game, okay? <laughs> I just like the Warcraft lore, and I do like how it grew from Warcraft 2 to Warcraft 3, explaining, like, what happened to different war chiefs, um, explaining, like, some... what happened with the gates, and, like, what happened to the orcs that were remaining on Azeroth, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I do like the demons and the stuff that they added to, like, the overarching malevolence. They added a lot more detail in Warcraft 3, and I really like that. For Warcraft 2, this, like, set the foundation, more or less, for all the complicated story elements. Oh shit, did we just... Sounds like we just found... There we go. Here we are, fam. Here's your town. I just gotta get Zuljin on the circle of power. Stand up on that there, Zuljin, my friend. A little victory theme. And... It always takes a little bit for the victory leg screen to display, so if you're always... If you're like just on the cusp of victory and you're like, oh shit, I just went one. I had to hold out for a little bit longer. Um, then you had to wait for longer than usual. Um, but you like you shouldn't have to do that in theory. It's like either defeat is total or you had to get somebody onto a square or a circle in this case. Um, and then just then then usually you destroyed everything by that point. Or as as, as much as as you can. Anyway. Victory, rank, still slave, that's fine. Well, slave isn't fine, obviously, like, being slave is not okay, and participating in slavery is obviously not okay. But, like, just having, like, that be the lowest rank, like, getting the lowest rank, that's fine by me. Um, like, the orcs are obviously a problematic fave. Oh. Chief directs you to begin construction of facilities for the Orcish Armada near the South Shore region. Zul'jin and his trolls, eager to take revenge upon the humans who imprisoned them, have agreed to aid the Horde by supplying axe throwers and destroyers to assist in defending your South Shore operation. A shipyard must be constructed in order to build our wave riders, and you will need much of the black liquid known as oil to build your fleet. Our assault on Hillsbrad cannot begin until your task is completed. Also, this is where the boats, where boats started. Like, the whole... Like, you had, you had some boats in Warcraft 3. Like, you had transports, and you had some missions where you would have, like, destroyers and juggernauts and things. But this is, like, this is where, like, the boats were, like, a whole separate mechanic. Like, a whole separate, like, focus. 
because you have like destroyers and juggernauts and subs you have submarines in this game and the oil tankers and the transports and it's just it, it was like its whole whole little subsystem that uh gets removed in warcraft 3 basically and that's kind of sad um i guess it's like hard to justify like the presence of oil if there isn't really a whole lot of oil like if oil isn't a part of the story like trying to work that into the story i i, I admit that would be hard but still it, it, it's I, I i miss the the boat mechanics but that's all right anyway uh just uh, save this as orc not or orc m3 save and then we'll just exit the program uh, so, thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate you being here, and I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that little bit of throwback Thursday there, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, and you are under no obligation to continue watching, but should you choose to do so, I will appreciate it, and I do appreciate you, and as always, thank you for being here. Hoping that would have been the right size. Anyway, there we go. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Alrighty. Have a good evening. Bye.